Let's talk about the Fibonacci sequence. It's um, an interesting mathematical kind of equation that you find in historical books and design books and things like that. So I thought I'd talk about it. It's also closely related to the golden ratio. All right, let's look at the golden ratio. This is a catch-all tray I made um, using the golden ratio and it is uh, formed using the Fibonacci sequence, which is a mathematical sequence, uh, logical sequence developed uh, long before Fibonacci in Italy, but uh, somehow his name got attached to it. Not even really his name, I guess. But anyway, you construct it by uh, starting with two squares. You get a one-sided square, so one by one plus one by one is two by two, which you can see that the two, three, I'll point out it was something. This would be three, so this would be three by three. This one would be three plus two, five by five. Plus three would be eight by eight, right? So it just keeps going up. And if you kept continuing that series of numbers where you're adding the last one to the, to the current one to get this rectangle every time, which uses a square to get this rectangle, this would just keep going around and around and around uh, the larger the numbers got. Now, as you get up a bit in the numbers, like to this many steps, this ratio becomes what they call the golden ratio. Um, it's pretty close when it's smaller, but the bigger, the more of these sequences you go through, the closer to the actual golden ratio it becomes, which is the one to 1.618 rectangle. Now the decimal is interesting and everything, but to me, the actual physical production of the rectangle is the cool part. So let's see how we do that. So I think this is how the ancient Greeks used to do it. So if you start with any square, so we'll just do this quick. So call this your square. So we'll just say that our square is, I don't know, that big. I'll just pull one of these. That'll give us a perfect square. Right? So the easiest way to then figure this, this out, this ratio that you could use all kinds of decimals and stuff for, but you don't really need to. You just do this. So find halfway by moving your dividers. See that little gap there? This will be halfway. A little bit more. So there's our midpoint. This one is our midpoint of halfway along the side of the square. So now we've just divided it into two, basically. You set this here. Set this one at the corner. That. You just swing this arc down. This point is a golden ratio. So this nice rectangle, the outside of the rectangle, gives you this nice, pleasing, harmonic shape. Now, throwing out all of the Fibonacci stuff and any decimal places or you know, the actual ratio itself, this is just a nice looking rectangle. Um, you find it in windows and all kinds of different stuff all over the place. Um, it's just a nice looking rectangle. You can use it, you know, vertically or horizontally, but that's it. That's all you have to do. Take a square. So if you knew you wanted to make a rectangle, but you knew how wide you wanted it to be, say a window or something, how tall could it be? Well, you just find the halfway, set your compass, swing it down, and now you've got the rectangle of the golden ratio, which is phi, I believe it's P-H-I. And it's something like that symbol if you see it. Now let's look at this golden spiral. So if you wanted to construct the Fibonacci sequence, you'd start with uh, like a one by one squares. Those are both one. You'd, one plus one is two, two by two square, right? Three by three square. Five by five square. Eight 
8 by 8 square, right? See how that's all going? And then this one would be 8, 5, 13. And on and on it goes, right? 20. So if you had, uh, if you set your compass point there and swung an arc there, right? And then you set your compass point here and swung an arc there. And then you set your compass point here and swung an arc there. Set your compass point here and swung an arc there. Set your compass point there and swung an arc here. Set it there and swing an arc there. Set it here and swing an arc there, right? So that gives us our golden spiral. But, and that's all cool. I, I like this, it's really interesting and it's really like pleasing when you actually do it, it's, it's really cool. spiral. Hey, thanks for watching. And if you're interested in these catch-all trays, I have them on my website. You can find me on Instagram and all the other stuff.